In this video, we will be looking at writing an algorithm to solve the requirements of a function. So let's start by looking at the function description. So we need a function that will calculate the cost of some flight tickets. The name of the function is flight cost. An economy ticket will be charged at £200 and a business class ticket will be charged at £400 per passenger. The number of passengers will be required and the classification of the ticket, whether it be business or economy. This information will be passed to the function as parameters. The function will return the total cost of all of the flight tickets. So it's worth remembering that functions return values and procedures don't. We can see here that we are declaring a function called flight cost and it receives two parameters. P number of passengers, so this will be a local variable that stores the amount of passengers that require tickets, and P parameter class, which is going to store the string economy or business. So let's see where we are calling the function. So we declare our function here between lines 9 and 16. We ask the user to input the number of customers and we're going to store that in a variable called number of travelers. We are then going to input the classification of the ticket, economy or business, and store that in the variable travel class. We then call the print command with a string literal within quotes here, comma, separating the next print parameter, and we're calling the flight cost function here. So this is where we're calling the function which we've declared here. We're sending it the number of travelers, so number of travelers will be passed up to this parameter here, p number of passengers, and the variable travel class will be passed up to this parameter here called p class. So now the function can look at these parameters and determine the costs of the tickets. So if the class is defined as being storing the contents of the string business, then we are going to set the cost at being 400 multiplied by the number of passengers. P number of passengers, remember, is this parameter here. P number of passengers. This is the information that was passed to the function. If this if statement is false, in other words, P class does not contain business, it will come down and look at this second if statement. So else if the classification is economy, then the cost is equal to 200 multiplied by the number of passengers. And that is the end of that if statement. So now we have the total cost of the tickets, whether they are business users or economy users, multiplied by the amount of passengers on that ticket type. So we can see here we've got the return command. This also tells us this is a function. It's giving us back a value. So whatever value this function returns will be printed within this print statement. So as an example, if we had one passenger traveling on business class, the number of tra travelers would be one, would be passed up to this function, this parameter here, p num passengers. If the travel class was business, that string would be passed up to the parameter p class. If p class equals business, which it is, notice the double equals, 
then the cost will be calculated at 400 multiplied by 1. So cost would now contain the value 400. It would then return the cost of 400. So in this print statement, the print statement would display total cost is 400. So that is our solution in pseudocode. As a matter of interest, let's see what it would look like in Python. So now you can see that I've copied our pseudocode over into my Python IDE and we're going to run this program. But let me just take a moment to show you some changes that I've made to the pseudocode to ensure that it works in Python. First of all, the word function is replaced with the word def. So this defines a subprogram in Python. Also notice that I've used the colon on the end of the function line. This just tells us that the rest of this code will be indented as part of the function. We also have colons on the end of the if statement here and here. Notice that else if has now changed to elif. And also notice that the end statements, such as the end ifs and the end functions, have been removed. Because Python has a default data type of a string used with the input command, I've had to cast the input. That means change the format of the required input, in this case a string, will be converted to an integer, which is a whole number, and then stored within the variable number of travelers. I then ask for the travel class, as before in the pseudocode, which is a string. I then call the routine print, which has the string literal total cost, call the function, pass it the two variables, number of travelers will go to p number of passengers, travel class will go to p class, and the rest of the code is the same. So let's see what it looks like when we run it. Enter the number of passengers. Let's just use one passenger and business class. And we can see here that the total cost is coming out at 400.